What is up, guys? It is Uncle Bob, and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. We are here to maybe finish up Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest today. I'm not sure if I actually will. Because I don't quite exactly remember how to get to... Because I have this eye, and it makes me want to... There's one area that I very specifically have not been able to look at. And I feel like looking at it would help me greatly. Especially with my new eye tool. Okay, so there is a hint here, but how do I... How do I... Honestly, it's just a mystery figuring out how... I... I don't even understand how that one works. Alright, well... I don't think there will be any more hints in here. But we're definitely going to have to... We're definitely going to have to... Use that on a next playthrough. Because I think what I'm going to do is... The same thing I would do during any other... Um, one sec. Alright, my bet. But yeah, I feel like we would. Ju I would just do what I have done on uh, every other uh, Metroidvania, which has only been Metroid games, honestly. Actually, um, so calling it saying Metroidvanias isn't really uh, correct when it's just Metroid. Um, but what I've done with all three of those that I've played is that I beat the game, and then once I got the flavor for where I was supposed to go and what I was supposed to do, especially with how, God damn it. Especially with how those games really did help popularize everything regarding, um, what was this way again? Oh god, no. No! Alright. Okay, so Okay, he respawned. Cool. But yeah, I know now that once I get the flavor of where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. Cuz overall, I think it's going to be just Make sure I'm stopping at every town, buying everything that I see from everyone, all the time, no matter what. There we go. But then have the heart in my possession. Go take care of that third one right there. Get the eyeball. I don't know what this dude's jerking off over here every time. You know, it was nice to learn the other, uh, was it the other day? Yeah, I think it was sometime last week. Found out my arch enemy got fired.
from the UPS branch that he was working at. I don't know how to two-step, but I want someone to teach me, and I want to be able to do it on his UPS grave. Granted, you know, it's not like sticking around and working for UPS is exactly the uh, the highest winning, the highest, like, anything. But, uh, now nah, this dude kept trying to get me to, like, quit for the longest time and was a giant prick. One sec. All right, my B, the woman just wanted to be discussing plans and schnitz. Just fine, you know, that takes precedent. My gaming can wait for plan talk. How do I get this? Ah, Dracula's nail may solve the evil mystery. Okay. Is this the cliff? It is. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Was it this way? That's dumb. I should not have gotten hit by that. Got him. Got him. But yeah, no, that dude was, I spent, like, I mean, I was dealing with that dude's harassment before I even started this fucking channel. And I know for sure that I spent the entirety of this channel bitching about all my issues with management at UPS. And until this supervisor left about a year ago. He was usually the greatest source of any stress or any bullshit related to the workplace. He was always at the center of it. And it's just really annoying because he ends up getting booted out, I guess, due to integrity issues or something like that, whatever that means in corporate speak. I hope it just means that he had enough complaints against him and enough grievances filed that corporate was eventually like, well, fuck, man. You just got to go. There we go. All right, let's. Even though it's only two things, two ticks of health. I'm going to take every one. Do, 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 do. Too good at this shit, baby. I mean, shit, even now today, still the only supervisors that I really have an issue with still are overall... Supervisors who were here when this guy Billy was here. Shit. 
should have moved a little farther away first. Damn. Okay. Is there anything even over here? Or just a waste of laurels? Bro, that's so mean. That's an actual way to fucking... softlock you into a death. Perpetual. I meant to jump. Oh, well. Yeah, but I remember I used to get, like, stress rashes on my hand. Like, get a bunch of tiny bumps that were, like, kind of pimples, but not pimples. And I'd get them all over my hands. But that's what's nice is that as the years go by, the amount of people I have to deal with like that just keep going down. Okay, well, I'm going to want to go back and heal before I go check that downward spot. So we're going to go back and heal. There we go. <laughs> yeah. The only thing you don't feel in this game, I mean, maybe a little bit, but you don't feel the same sense of like, I'm a super badass in this game. Like, not like in Metroid. Where by the end, you're just sitting there with Samus like a fucking god. And just like, yes. Flip back there. I am going to see if I can park in this little bit of shade over here. Let us park in shade. It is so fucking hot. It's not like hot outside, but just my windows are down in my car and shit. And it is just not. Uh... There's like a sliver of shade for me to park back here in. But we'll take our sliver of shade. Ooh, but it's not enough shade. All right, you hush. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Just letting the woman know that I was in the driveway just on the, in the shade. Because if she looks outside and tries to find my car, she will not find it. That was, mm. Like, you do feel a little bit of a badass by the end of this but not the way that I'd be talking about. Dun, 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 dun.
But yeah, no, to hear that after all the bullshit I went through with that supervisor that he finally is gone from the company, it's just like, ah. Uh, found out that another, but a woman who used to run our base found out she got fired. I don't know where she was working. I actually thought she already had gotten fired, but you know. So I heard she had gotten let go for some, there was like, actually, it was like a, considered a chemical spill incident that I was actually a part of. That she got fired over. Because, uh, we, uh, Sha. Because there was a day where there was a big leak in the, in the area that I work in. Where it was like a industrial strength degreaser had leaked and it got all over a whole bunch of boxes. And a bunch of people were handling those boxes who probably shouldn't have been, me included. Because, you know, you get packages that are wet with something and, you know, you'll still just grab it and throw it underneath and let the leaker personnel take care of it. But... The, um, you know, it's a degreaser, so, and with how strong it was, after it, you know, sat on your hand for a minute and you're possibly touching other boxes with it, you, it starts eating away at your skin, is what happens. So, uh, it had happened to me and I was very, I didn't get in trouble, but I was told to, like, not be a hypochondriac about things, but to make a bigger deal out of certain things that happen. Because from uh, probably, God damn it, about two years before I started this channel, I worked in a, I worked for a school bus company, driving buses. And... When I was working for them, I did, like, a side job for the company, which was going into the mechanic's garage every Sunday, or... I have been every other Sunday. I can't even remember anymore. If it was every Sunday or every other Sunday. I think it was every Sunday. Or it might have been every Sunday at one point, and then I started doing it more often. I can't remember how it went. But regardless... We, uh, I used to handle, you know, heavy degreasers to get all the oil and all the garbage and shit off of the floor in, off the garage floor, you know, spray the degreaser, take the power washer, try to get all the oil and all the yutz off of the floor. So was doing that. Um, for a couple of years, so I was used to handling degreasers and shit. So, like, I knew I I pushed the button. I don't care what this game tries to tell me. So I was used to like working with heavy degreasers. So I knew what happened when you were working on them. Um. Or working with them, which, you know, if you got it on your skin, you could just wash it off. Nice and easy. Is this where the nail is needed? There we go. So I actually could have gone up here with the th after the third one. There's probably going to be something else that prevents me from getting in this area further.
Okay. That's easy enough. So there's no enemies in here. This feels quite final. What's the point of those stairs even? What was the point of where I went? Because I jumped to like a mystery area. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick drag before we go in here. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, it feels good after all this time to have dealt with this motherfucker for so long and to just finally not have to deal with him forever. There's no chance of him coming back because, you know, supervisors get moved around from buildings. I mean, the guy who's running our building now ran it for a few months like two years ago, so there's always a chance of him coming back. But not this time. Not this time. Dude got every bit of bad karma that he earned. <coughs> oh. Five pieces. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck? I could have sworn I had more hearts. The fuck is going on here? I feel like I have heard that that thing is, that weapon is effective on him. And it, that's kind of what it looks like I need and want to. Well, maybe that's the way I'm supposed to go. Never mind. I jumped right where I was supposed to. Left chest muscle is spazzing. So he's going to be standing there in one spot for a hot second. And I don't usually use this fucking nonsense fire column move, but if he's going to be in one spot, I might as well just light him up in one spot. See how this works. Oh god, that's destructive. Oh god, this is a meme. This is all memes. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, the battle has... The battle has consummated? I don't think... I don't think that word means what you think it means. Now peace and serenity have been restored. And I have heard like a Metroidvania, the faster you go, you know, the different endings you might get. I think I can actually make this work in relative quick fashion. This game would not be that hard to beat quickly. Alright, one sec. Are you leaving? Alright, my bad. Woman came up and I told her I was parking in the shade. You heard me even say live. I'm telling her that I am parking in the shade. And she still asked me, Are you leaving? And I was like, No, dog. What did I just tell you? We'll have to see if I can get the ending where Simon Belmont stays alive. That'll be the goal. All right. So, I, should I do, because this is, you know what, because this game is contentious, I'll, I'll have a video that comes on after this. Um, yeah. Um. Good show, boys. Oh, boy. Good show. Uh, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts in a minute.